right, we got a whole bunch of top secrets. So Brent did a video, it's four minutes, but it's a preview of a bunch of whippersnapper stuff. So buckle up, watch that. And then we'll immediately go to two other videos we made and then three um, really quick uh, prototypes that yeah. we made. So, uh, well, it only took like six hours, so it wasn't that quick, but you know, the, well, fe the gonna, feeling is there. We're going to go over it real quick. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So this is a demo of a uh, offline mode of whippersnappers. It's a really early demo. Um, it's going to show how we can take any board off the shelf. It doesn't have to be a specific board uh, that can run whippersnapper and has um, some way to like load an SD card into it to be configured as an offline data logger. So this is a Metro ESP32 S3. We are using it because it has a built-in micro SD card slot and it's an ESP32. S3 board, so it also has Wi-Fi, so we can test that as well. Um, we have a micro SD card, just like a standard uh, SanDisk card. It's not plugged in at this moment. On this SD card, um, we have a configuration file that looks like this, and it shows what type of RTC is plugged into the board, some board-specific information, and then what components we want to configure. So we have here uh like two analog pins so on a0 and a1 which we're not like testing just yet uh digital io push button on d2 and the temperature sensor which is this ds18 b20 um on a stemma pin and then we also have an rtc uh plugged into the um stemma port of the board so the um micro sd uh slot has nothing in it right now and because of that, we are going to boot into online mode. So we plug the board in. And you can see it already has an error. And we'll use the serial monitor just briefly to see what that error is. It says, like, oh, invalid Adafruit IO credentials detected. So if we open up um, the Whipper drive, we see the same error. And that's because it's trying to boot into online mode and our secrets file has default credentials and this is how it will work in online mode but we don't want to boot online mode for this demo we want to boot offline mode so the way we'll do that is we'll take the micro sd card insert it into the metro esp32 s3 and press the reset button so um Everything went really quickly, uh, but you can see it um, parsing the configuration from the card. It enabled the RTC. This is the wrong RTC. I have to fix that. It found the four components. It took each component and three, four, and decoded it um, from this JSON format over here into a protocol buffer, a shared buffer. And then the application running took all of these configuration messages and one by one um, parsed them out and created dynamic hardware. So like, here's the controller, which actually talks to the hardware deeper down, uh, telling me, oh, I created a new pin, and then like another new pin, and then um, digital IO pin, and then a DS18XP20, or DS18X20 uh, add message type, and then it says it found it, and it initialized the one wire message. Uh, like the message on the one wire bus, which is great. And then uh, we skip network setup because we're in offline mode. And then immediately um, we start polling for data from um, all of our pins, except for this digital IO pin at pin D2, because it's event based and not timer based. And um, I'm looking at a stability bug right now where it keeps resetting. I'm not sure why it's resetting. So like, over here it drops out, but I'm going to figure that out and fix that as well as start logging to the SD card itself after. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm testing out one of my new stepper moto drivers. This one has the um, Allegro A4988, which is like one of kind of the first step direction moto drivers. Um, you can set the micro steps with these uh, MS1, MS2, MS3 pins. I have it set to, let me turn it on so I can read it easier. Um, by default, I have these pull downs, so it's 
or pull ups, I don't remember. Uh, to set it to the highest 16 micro steps. There's also reset, sleep, and enable. But basically, what's really nice is you can just um, tick, dir, and step. And I have LEDs connected so you can see um, stepping occurs when you see this yellow LED lit, and then red and green. Um, tell you which direction it is, and I'm going to change the brightness of that. So this is um, the stepper motor, and so what I'm testing right now is the um, torque, because you can set the torque with this potentiometer, and right now it's, it's set to like the lowest torque, so I can hold it, and you see like it's not it's not moving, like the little dash part's not moving, I can hold it with my fingers. And then if I twist this pot to increase the current, now it's like I can't, like the torque is high enough that I actually need to use a, um, a uh, what are these called again? Clamp? These are torque locks torque, from Milwaukee. Torque locks. Um, and you see it's like, you know, you, you can, you actually fights against you quite well. So this means it's drawing um, up to an amp or two amps of current uh, per coil and it's gonna heat up a lot. So this is when you would use um, like forced air or a heat sink cooling system. But now I've tested everything. I tested the micro step pins. I tested the reset, enable, and uh, you know, the power. And with the stepper, and I also tested the current select uh, potentiometer. So this design is ready to go. I'm going to get into the shop, and I have a lot more stepper drivers coming real soon. That's Eagle Cat. What's up, everyone? Tim here to show you my latest project. CircuitPython is now on Blue Sky with the official handle of at circuitpython.org. You can follow for information about new releases and other items of interest. To celebrate, I've created this Blue Sky post scroller that runs on Raspberry Pi. It uses Python code to fetch data out of the Blue Sky API and passes it into JavaScript and HTML to be shown graphically. You can set it to fetch any Blue Sky feed or list or you can search for posts containing a phrase or hashtag. Whether you want to see posts about the cutting edge releases of CircuitPython, the computers of yesteryear in the retro computing feed, or anything in between, this project has got you covered. See how to build your own in the Adafruit Learn Guide. Um, okay, so doing more stuff with stepper motor drivers. This is the TMC2209, which is a very similar chip to the A4988 that I just showed, um, but it has a UR interface, um, a diagnostic output, and an index output. So uh, same direction step, but only two pins are used to set the micro steps. Um, and then it has like more debugging outputs. And then the TMC2130, which is kind of like the mega upgrade, um, this is kind of a beast. It has a, an SPI interface, and so there's a lot more configuration pins. There's an SPI interface if you want uh, for detailed control. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger, but you know, but overall idea is very similar. And then this is uh, my Rev Eve, the Metro RP2350, this time with the chip going the correct direction. All right, that's top secret.